Well, it appears that Elon Musk is up to it again. Starlink's satellite constellation is not just aiming to provide high-speed internet service. Based on recent filings to the Federal Communications Commission, or FCC, that I just read, Starlink also plans to introduce a suite of related products to its portfolio from a dedicated phone service, emergency backup for voice calls, and more affordable internet access. In other words, Elon is taking his rockets and dropping off a whole network of low Earth orbit satellites that can transmit internet and mobile phone signals to most parts of the world. So in other words, he'll take a rocket up and then he'll get that rocket to the proper speed going around the Earth that's required to keep that satellite in orbit and he'll drop the satellite off like a B-2 bomber, go a little further, drop another satellite off and then another until there are so many low Earth orbit satellites rotating around the Earth that there will always be at least one satellite in direct access to your ground-based satellite receiver that transmits internet and cellular signals in your home or directly to your mobile phone when out and about, kind of like a regular cellular phone, but it'll work even when there's no cellular towers within range. So the details of Starlink's expanded services were mentioned in SpaceX petition to the FCC for a designation as an eligible telecommunications carrier, or ETC, according to the Elon Musk-led company. An ETC designation is required in some U.S. states where the satellite internet program won government funding to provide internet access to underserved areas. It is also required to receive reimbursement from the FCC's Lifeline program, which offers discount on telecom services for low-income customers. And if you appreciate this update, please click the like button below so YouTube promotes it. Many thanks. And if you're new here, you just need a friend, you can also click the subscribe button and the notification bell so that when more videos come out like this, you'll be up to date right away. And by the way, special thanks to Simon Alvarez and Tesla Rati for your help on this story. Now, Starlink's beta only offers internet access today, but in its filing, SpaceX noted that Starlink services will provide voice telephony services, including A, voice grade access to the public switch telephone network, or its functional equivalent, B, minutes of use for local service provided at no additional charge to the end user, C, access to emergency services, and D, toll limitation services to qualifying low-income consumers. Now, Starlink services will offer voice services on a standalone basis at rates that are reasonably comparable to urban rates. Now, interestingly enough, the Elon Musk-led company added that Starlink consumers would also have the option to use third-party conventional phones for its service. And this may prove to be a key selling point for the service, especially considering how many mobile phone options are available today. Now, how you would use such a satellite-based system if you were inside like an indoor shopping mall or grocery store, I don't know. But the low Earth orbit satellites such as these can give off stronger signals just because they're closer than the satellites can in higher orbits. Now, like other VoIP providers, SpaceX FCC filings have also mentioned that Starlink will sell a 24-hour battery backup to customers. Such a product would allow consumers to access Starlink services even in the event of a power outage or other emergency situations. Now, these redundancies would not only be applied at the user level either, as backups would also be implemented at the network level. And I quote here, at the user level, Starlink services will offer a 24-hour battery backup option for user equipment that will provide the ability to make phone calls in the event of a power outage. At the system level, Starlink Services is building redundancies into the network. For example, every user will have multiple satellites in view with which it can communicate. The Starlink traffic routing system ensures that every user is served with bandwidth before users demanding more bandwidth, getting additional throughput assigned, which gives Starlink network more robustness in the event of emergencies through higher throughput. And when you think about it, Starlink's battery backup technology would likely be cost-effective and industry-leading considering that Tesla, an electric car company, an energy company also led by Elon Musk, is developing its own custom battery cells. And if SpaceX ends up leveraging Tesla's batteries, like the company's custom-designed 4680 tablet cells, Starlink's 24-hour backup batteries may be one of the very best in the industry. Apart from a dedicated phone service and a 24-hour backup battery, SpaceX also discussed a program that would bring Starlink services to low-income households. And SpaceX's FCC filings did not include much details about this program for now. However, considering the Lifeline program currently provides a $9.25 monthly subsidy for low-income households to get broadband access 
or a $5.25 monthly per household subsidy for phone service, as well as the fact that Starlink Beta currently costs $99 per month, there seems to be a fair chance that SpaceX would offer a lower cost version of its satellite internet service in the future. So, so what do you think? Comment below. Please click like, subscribe, text the link of this video to others. Thanks for joining me today. This is The Business Guy.